five, four, three. Hey everybody, welcome to the Logan Power Show. It's me, your host, Calvin Logan, live here at the point in North Charleston, <laughs> South Carolina. Well, I've been blessed enough again. He's back for the third time. This man doing all kind of things. He is a artist, not just on the stage, on the mic. He's an artist with painting. He's a, a model an entrepreneur. <laughs> That's my man, Squad Ray Stuck. How you doing, sir? Always oh, good. A pleasure. Yeah, yeah, I that show, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So I know that uh, we're looking down to business. Um, you have evolved. Life has changed since the last time we spoke. Uh, now, the music side is there, the modeling side, the book. Right. Now we have the painting. Right, right. So tell us more about how your life has changed and evolved. <coughs> You know, today basically my whole story was to come here and was to inspire, you know, to lay down blueprints and formats to show no matter where you come from, what age, what background, what ethnic group you are, you can make it happen, regardless of what statistics say. So uh, today I wanted to bring stuff that's just well rounded in every type of platform that I mentioned. So I'm bringing, you know, music, I'm bringing artwork, painting, I'm bringing illustrations with the books, and I'm bringing, you know, community service work that I did for MUSC. And then I'm also introducing something new that I'm bringing to the game. Also, I got my own cologne coming out, you know, Black and Sexy for Men. So we're going to talk about that too. But um, today, you know, I just want to get real in about the uh, whole conversation. And if you want to talk about, you know, just my life, just what I've been able to achieve and go through this whole year, just to uh, inspire everybody else that's been watching and then just picking up on what I got going on. Oh, definitely. Now, if you don't know Mr. Quadre Stucky, uh, he started as a uh, artist, hip hop artist, been doing for some years. Uh, got over one million views on YouTube uh, for his song. Uh, then he was doing modeling on top of that. Then, but then he got blessed again, becoming a painter and artist. And then from there, book writer. So this one has evolved, and he's been on the Logan Power Show now his third time. This all happened in 2015. So the first time he came on the show, uh, that's around February or March of, of yeah. this of this year, <laughs> this year, and he had just hit his millionth song around that March April time frame. And then as you know, and I said, man, what you got to do next? He said, well, man, I, I the God has taken to the level. I want to um, the modeling. I understand the side of music, but now I want to focus on the art, uh, making paintings. And so he's downtown in Charleston. On the back, uh, people are buying these paintings left and right. He's always posting something new. Someone's bought something. Uh, you had the governor come in and, and stop into the building to check you out. Definitely, definitely. That was a blessing. Um, I was just kind of out of nowhere. She knew who I was, and that kind of threw me off. Like she was about my first time. So uh, I just see that as a blessing. But that day, overall, in general, was a blessing because I saw my pops for the first time in 23 years, like my whole life. So. Uh, the governor, that was kind of something small. Me seeing my dad for the first time, that was real big to me because that's where I came from. You know what I'm saying? That's me, that's my life, that's my heart. So just that happening, I decided to sign, you know, God bless me on one day. Because like, I saw my pops, the governor came, he saw me, she got some work from me. You know, uh, uh, God sent me a nice young lady to that I'm talking to that same day <coughs> that he came to talk to me. And I saw some of my heart. So I just see that as an overall blessing because uh, if you see things for what it really is, and you read between the lines, you understand, you know, what's being thrown at you, what the devil's throwing at you, and what you're going through, and how people really are. So that's just a blessing that God has sent to me, just to have that vision and see things. So, yeah. Okay. Joe, um, what I like about him, uh, when I first started Logan Power Show, October of last year, um, I told him around February of this year, uh, you know, I only been it to like four months. He like, man, I thought you'd been this for a long time. I said, no, nah, I've been in four months. You know, my vision was plain. It was crystal clear. It's why I wanted to impact people's lives. I'm going to bring game changes into the ball game. All people know. And he was like, well, you know, hey, I'm doing my thing with music. Um, so David Freeman had mentioned to me about it. So I said, okay, well, let's bring this guy to the ball game. So I gave him some wisdom in regards to, man, to brand yourself. You know, make yourself to be like, you know, as a name. People got to charge you. Not just talking about the money, but it's about building an impact. And this young man here, he's like, we're young, we're both young ourselves. He just takes it on another level. And now, he's going to Cologne. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> we laughing now, man. So, are we going to have like, like, are you going to be like the, 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 the 
required for productions where people are going to come to you and they're like, well, what you did next? Well, man, I, I decided that I got the music, I got the modeling, I got the paintings, I got cologne. Graphic design. Graphic design. It's everything. Like, my overall purpose is to show I got two little brothers. Well, actually, I got like three little brothers. It's to show that whatever talent you got, if you're multi-talented, you can be successful and build these platforms and make it happen because of me coming up and growing up, you know what I'm saying? I had my pops so I had to go out there and get on my own. So I was looking up statistics before I came here. Statistics said that, you know, only 33% of African American men graduate high school, only 17%, you know, go on to graduate college. And the funny thing about it was, like, once I graduated high school, I went to college. They, the teachers and the professors there, I was the only black student in every class I was in. So uh, they wasn't too much trying to help me and cater to me because they was thinking I was going to fall off. So they already kind of set me up to lose for failure. When I graduated and got my associates the first time, they were shocked. And the thing about it was I wanted to go back and get my bachelor's. So when I went back and get my bachelor's, they were trying everything to stop me or prevent me from succeeding. And then like all, don't get me wrong, all the other, you know, Caucasian or the white kids, you know what I'm saying? They were giving them a good raise. They were setting up with them with a good job and stuff like that. But, you know, I look at myself at that graduate, I told, him, I told myself, let me give myself a good time to go out there and make everything happen. And it came to, so like, for example, um, I say, this is my old high school diploma from 2009, from Manchester High School, right? <laughs> I look at that every single day and see that as inspiration, you know, for like the young boys that's out there saying, you can graduate high school, I did it too. And then also, you know, um, I graduated college twice, you know? This is my associate's degree right here. Like, Show that to everybody, graphic design from the Art Institute in Charleston downtown. Yeah. So just being excited, <coughs> you learn stuff, but it's not about what you learn, it's about how you apply it to your life and what you want to do with it. So once I got that associates, I know that I can go and get my bachelor's. So I went back and that's my bachelor's degree right there. Damn. And the funny thing about it was it was like every job I was going for. Everybody was turning me down, and I was wondering why. It was because people was doubting, you know, trying to throw salt on my name. So I said, I'm gonna do what I know how to do best as a grind hustle, keep my family alive, and go out there and make it happen. So I said, let me get myself a year 2015. If I don't make none of this stuff happen, I'm just, you know, going in the military and just step off. So this whole year has been a blessing. I just made everything happen, grinded it out. I'm blessed, I'm here right now. This, you know, my life, my testimony. You see, I have multiple talents, you know what I'm saying? I just bring everything to life. And it starts with you believing in yourself, keeping the faith in God, and um, never giving up on yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, regardless whether you have one friend or nobody there at all, you always gonna have yourself, and you always gonna have God to bless you. So once you know thyself, you dig deep, and you find who you are, you pull out those natural talents, you gonna be all right. You just gotta believe that. You gotta believe it. Uh, I look at the Bible, the Bible talks about the person that had talents. One had five, one had two. Uh, the one had five, multiplied. The one had two, had one. The one that had one hit. And massive if you hit it, I would say it. It took away the one that had one and the one that had multiple talents. I think that where we at the, as a body of Christ can understand is that uh, we're not defined by uh, how people see us. If, I, I'm gonna give a, let me tell you what Quadris what he's saying. Some people define you by what your name is. They say, okay, your, your name is Quadrant. So first of all, Quadrant can't go this for this far. What Quadrant, what he did was, this, when you have God in your life, the ceiling is endless of blessings, endless of opportunities, endless of what he can do for you. And I'm really happy for you. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see the 2016. So when the, the cologne, when does it come out? Um, the cologne is supposed to come out launch it either on Christmas or a week after Christmas. So what it actually is, is I already had it set up. Back when I was 13, like my uncle, we, we got a spot to sit at the mall, no one's the most Mystic Fragrance, it's the business card. Okay. I'm and all the contact information on both. We got an actual storefront to sit at the mall, and then we got a booth at Norfolk's mall. So what I'm gonna do is um the new fragrance I got from many, you know, black and sexy that I got, but I brought in a little sample bottle. So you can check out Okay, I'm gonna check out this one. This is I said black and sexy. I know I'm a, I'm a good looking person, so I know I have my sexy on. So I got my cologne. I, I, have, I, I got it. Let me tell you right now. You want to watch somebody who literally took fame to a whole other level? You just watch it. February of this year, no lie, 
A million plus views. This man's not even 26 years old. Then he decided to go off and do a book. He decided to do real painting, real artistry. He's in downtown Charleston right now at the Battery. That's hard to do. That's all in 2015. And all he said was, you know, I'm gonna do it, God, you know, God bless me with the talents, I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna run. So he took it and he's running with it. And I encourage anybody, don't ever let somebody define you by your name, uh, the color of your skin, you know, well, my, my lineage does not deserve that. Well, that's not what God says. I think you gotta be a blessing. Now, this is the clone. This is 2015. Right, right. Okay, so now we talked about jumping this ceiling. <laughs> right. March of this year. We talked about all kinds of stuff in the first Logan Power Show. Definitely. And you fulfilled that already in 2015. Yes, sir. So what has God done in 2016? Because man, I, I I'm looking at something now and I'm saying this may be some other stuff that we ain't seen yet. To be honest with you, I had a conversation with uh, one of my best friends, Glenn Lawrence, like a son of my brother. So um he was telling me, he was like, to be honest with you, man, you kind of basically get almost everything you possibly want to live in the world, like, within a year time. But he, he, was, he was talking, he was like, the only thing he actually had not done was, like, politics and stuff like that, basically. Or travel, seeing the rest of the world, had, like, a statue. Right? And funny when we was talking about politics, like, a week later, you know, Governor Haley came to see me, we were talking. So, it was just like, remember when I first met you, this, you speak into existence, you believe in yourself, you go make it happen. Because I feel like, you know, I, I come to God, I talk to him all the time, but I go out there, I give it 100%, and I just ask him to give me that 1% of the blessing, maybe 101, just to take it to the next level. Because uh, it's like this, I bring it down. Remember when we first met back in March, right? Remember we was in the other building, when we started, right? We was at that front door, like right when we walked in, we did that, we had that small table, and then I watched you all the time. We went to that main stage, over there in the Scottsbury Cafe, and now we over here in the big arena. So I watched you all in years time, so I'm proud of you. So that's, that's really what it's all about. So when I see other people that are successful doing something good, you know, I give them their props too. Because there's enough success out there for everybody to get. There's enough motivation, enough money. It's all about giving back because when I die, I can't take it with me. So me, myself, personally, just from everything that's over here, social media, there, all the business, all that stuff, it don't matter. The, the biggest thing to me is I'm inspiring people. Like the kids I went to school with, people I don't know that speak different languages, sending me messages, I hit the translate button, they say, I don't know you, but some of the uh, posts that you've posted and stuff and inspired me, some of the work and stuff I see you do been inspiring, changing my mind and believing in. So I'm like, that's the bigger purpose for me, because at the end of the day, all I really care about, one, as long as my little brothers is fine, I have to take care of, as long as my mom's fine, and my family's fine, all this other stuff it don't matter, because I was listening to like Mike Tyson, and he said, I got all these world title championship belts. He's like, really? They don't mean nothing no more to me at the end of the day. All I care about is my kids being happy. They lose value all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what's the point of having an NBA championship ring if it doesn't mean nothing to the person that won that ring? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have a value. You're right on that. You got to have value. You got to see what God has given to you. Um, I want everyone who's watching to keep watching. You know, I'm going to put something out there. He ain't thought about it yet, but I'm going to spin out this to make him work a little harder in 2016. I'm thinking about the quad trade, clothing line, the watches. Um, he likes wearing a nice watch all the time. He always wears a suit. That's just how we are. You know, me see, I, I'm shirt and tie half the time, but you, you see, 90% of the time I'm shirt and tie. Even in even my regular days. Right. But I truly believe he's going to have a clothing line one day. And I'm saying it right now because. He's gonna make me work harder, I'm gonna work harder. The next thing you know, we're gonna have a runway. We're gonna talk about it. Definitely. And then we're gonna talk about some new things. The, the, the watch, where people are gonna say, man, I want, I want a QS watch. After we have some new stuff now, the QS tie, next thing you know, he's talking about, man, Cal, I went to the shoes now. I got my QS shoes on. See, for me, I like to give people vision because I want greatness to keep going. And if you stay stuck to as far as I can go, then no sense of purpose. Purpose in life has to be constantly known that faith. It's a great of a muscle you tell this not move and it shall move. So I truly believe, man, mark my words. You gonna something's gonna kick in in a minute. And and 
And I truly believe that the clothing, the watch, is something you won't talk about in a minute. Because the cologne stuff, you, you, you're trying to get the whole person together. Right. So I'm waiting. Yeah. You know, I also want to say too, uh, don't let nobody tell you you can't do anything. Like, try to place a time frame, a limit on your ability because it's just like, you know, some people say, oh, well, to be a professional painter or artist that took 10, 15 years, you don't know what God has planned for you with the time frame. It's, if you look at my life within a year time frame, I did all this within a year time frame. I did a million in a month and a half. You know, it'll take the majority of people maybe two, three lifetimes to do stuff like that. So I'm like, don't ever place no limit. You know, people always say sky's the limit. I don't believe that because how can sky be the limit if man has touched down on Mars? You know, we know about all the other planets and galaxies out there. So sky's not the limit. The sky is just the clouds and then just the color of the sky. <coughs> Once you get past that, you're in outer space with a different atmosphere. So sky's not the limit. The only limit is what you set in your mind telling you that you can. So, you know, I'm, I'm like, be, be humble about it, but be real with yourself. Because at the end of the day, I'd rather have four quarters than a hundred pennies. So I'd rather have four real true friends than a hundred fake ones. Hey, you teach him right there. I told you, this guy right here, he is the entrepreneur, game changer, and I thank you again, man, for coming on the show. Appreciate it. And we're waiting to see what's gonna happen, 2016? Yes, sir. 2016, mark my words. One of the greatest entrepreneurs right now in the city of Charleston, the low country, you're looking at Mr. Quadro Stucky. Ladies and gentlemen, information on the screen. Go down to the battery, buy some of his paintings, um, listen to the music, uh, get involved. I'm telling you, this guy right here, you give him a call and you bring him to the door, just pick his brain. Remember, he's not 30, he's not 40, he's in your 20s. Get it done now. Young people, understand God will do it for you. No angel. That's all the time I got. My name is Calvin Logan, the Logan Power Show. Nationwide, worldwide. We love y'all. We appreciate you. And we'll see you on next week. Yes, sir.